What's up everyone? I'm gonna teach you how to stream on Twitch in less than five minutes because I don't want to waste your time. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and help a fellow Twitch streamer out, twitch.tv slash scar for plays. Enjoy. The first thing you will need to do is go to my description to download the free application OBS Studios. If you are using a different application such as Streamlabs OBS, this tutorial will work as they are very similar, however I strongly recommend using OBS Studios. This is also what a lot of the top Twitch streamers use. While that is downloading, go to speedtest.net to check your internet speeds. That can also be found in my description. Click go and then make sure you have an upload speed that is 8 megabytes per second or higher. If you have anything lower than this, you may run into issues while streaming, or you may not. You're going to have to test and see. Once OBS Studios is done downloading, go ahead and open it up. It should look very similar to mine, however, you might have a tutorial or some pop-ups. If you do, you can go ahead and go through them, however, I will be covering everything in this video. This black box right here is your scene. You can add sources to your scene, and the first one we're going to add is our display capture. Go to the plus sign, go to display capture. Create new, you can rename this whatever you want, hit OK, and your screen should pop up. If you have more than one monitor, you can select which one is right over here. Hit OK, and there you go. You have your gameplay scene, and check this out. It captures whatever is on my screen at the time. Next, we need to add your microphone. Once again, go down to the plus sign. This is where you'll add everything you need. Go to Audio Input Capture. You can name this microphone if you'd like. Hit OK, and select your microphone from the drop-down menu below. Once you do this, hit OK, and you should see this right over here. It will capture your audio from your microphone. It doesn't matter if you have a standalone mic or a headset mic, it should work. You can also drag the slider to decrease or increase the volume. Next, we need to add your PC audio. Go over to Settings, Audio, and where it says Mic Auxiliary Audio, choose the audio source that you are familiar with. This will be different for everyone, so choose the audio source that captures your browser, your music, and any games that you play. Once you are done with that, hit apply. There will be another audio fader and slider here. However, it will not be moving unless you have audio playing through your PC, such as a YouTube video or the games that you play. If you have a webcam that you want to add, go ahead and click the plus sign. Go to video capture device, hit OK, and select your webcam from the drop down menu below. You can also change the FPS and video format. I'm not going to be adding this webcam because I already have mine available. Some other basic things you can do is go to the plus sign and add an image or a media source. Media sources are videos. Or you can go to the plus sign under a scene, click OK, and create a whole new scene. This could be a starting soon screen, which you can go ahead and add by adding an image. Or you could add a webcam and make it your full face cam scene. The possibilities are endless. However, we will be going back and sticking with the main gameplay scene. Now, the most important part is connecting your Twitch account to OBS Studios. Go to settings, go to stream, and make sure you're streaming on Twitch or YouTube and connect your account using your login and password. Next, go to your output. This will change the quality of your stream. Make sure the video bitrate is 6,000 kilobytes per second. This is equal to six megabytes of upload speed. If you have under eight megabytes of upload speed, make sure you do not increase this past what your upload speed is. But for many of you, this should not be a problem. Encoder should always be NVENC or AMD, that will be your graphics card. X264 is your CPU, and you never want to stream with that, trust me. Now go to video. The base canvas resolution should be whatever resolution your monitor is. For most of you, this will be 1920 by 1080. The output resolution should be whatever you are streaming to Twitch. I 100% recommend 1280 by 720. If your PC and internet is really good, you can up this to 1600 by 900, but never go to 1920 by 1080 unless you are a Twitch partner. The downscale filter should be Lynxos, and change the FPS to 60. If your stream is buffering or lagging, go ahead and change this back to 30. Hit apply and press OK, and now you are ready to start streaming by hitting the start stream button. If you guys have any comments or questions, feel free to comment below or message me on Twitter, Scarford Plays. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be on the lookout for more tutorials and follow my Twitch, please. And yeah, have a great day.